Hi there guys, today I'm going to be carrying out a review on my Mont Blanc Airbus A380 skeleton fountain pen. This pen was released in September of 2007 and was a collaboration between Mont Blanc and Airbus celebrating the A380, the world's largest passenger airliner. This is a rather unique pen in that it is not related in any way to any of the other pens which Mont Blanc makes and it is Definitely one of the largest pens they've ever made, and I would say also one of the heaviest. This picture shows you how this pen compares to various other Mont Blanc and Waterman pens, just for a size comparison. This pen is made of solid white gold, and it's adorned with 42 diamonds spread across its three rings. And there were 380 of them made, and this particular pen is number 75 of 380. During the course of this video, I'm going to compare this pen to the Waterman Edson as well as the Mont Blanc 149. The reason why I've chosen to compare these three pens is because they are three very different pens and all three of them are very good in their own right. The Mont Blanc 149 as well as the Airbus A380 are both piston fillers and the Edson takes cartridges. My Edson is currently fitted with a cartridge converter. I'm going to start by comparing the nibs of these three pens and as you can see they are very different nibs. When you look at the Airbus pen compared to the 149, the iridium tip is a lot thicker if you look at it from the top to bottom and the iridium tip on the 149 is far more rounded. The Edson has a very curved nib with a very small iridium tip. I'm now going to go ahead and compare the dry weights of these three pens. And I will start off with the 149. And as you can see, the 149 weighs in at 32 grams. Just bear in mind that this is the dry weight as I haven't inked this pen yet. I'm now going to compare that to the dry weight of the Edson. And the Edson weighs in at 45 grams. I'm now going to compare that to the A380. And as you can see, the Airbus A380 weighs in at a whopping 118 grams. So for those of you who thought that the Waterman Edson or the Mont Blanc 149 were heavy pens, think again. I'll now compare the weights of the pens without their caps fitted. And I'll again start with the 149. And the 149 weighs in at 21 grams. I'll move on to the Edson. And the Edson weighs in at 26 grams. I'll now move on to the A380. And its dry weight without a cap is 77 grams. I'll now, just for interest's sake, move on to the weights of the lids of these pens. The 149's lid weighs in at 11 grams. The Edson's lid weighs in at 19 grams. And the Airbus A380's lid weighs in at a whopping 41 grams. I'm now going to go ahead and ink the three pens. Now that all three pens have been inked, let the testing begin. The first test that I'm going to conduct is to see whether the pens can deliver ink to a page when dragged over the page under their own weight. And I'm going to start off with the 149. Okay, so let's begin. And you can see that she starts to deliver ink immediately and gives a steady line across the page. 
I'm going to move over to the Edson. And she too also delivers ink immediately. And now I'm going to move on to the Airbus pen. And here we go. And she too delivers ink immediately. Okay, from this you can see that all three of these pens are capable of delivering ink to a page when dragging them across the page under their own weight. I'm now really going to put these three pens to the test by attempting to sign my signature with them. I'm going to start off with the 149. And here we go. Okay, and as you can see, there's a little bit of a skip in the signature with this pen. I'm going to move over to the Edson. And here we go. And the Edson is able to keep up. I'm now going to move over to the Airbus. Let's see if she can keep up. And here we go. And she can. Okay, I'm just going to cap the Airbus pen quickly. And then I'm going to move the camera closer to the page so that you can get a view of what the signatures look like with the three pens. Okay, this being the 149 signature, this one the Edson signature, and this one the A380. The results of the two tests that I've conducted today have hopefully shown you that the Airbus A380 has remarkable performance. And especially considering that I was comparing it to the Waterman Edson, which is known to be an extremely good writer. The Montblanc 149, on the other hand, has performance which is very typical of a Montblanc pen in my opinion. Most of the other Montblanc pens that I have used in the past have performed in the same way when it comes to writing my signature. And that includes the two triple H's that I have in my collection, being the Andrew Carnegie as well as the Pope Julius II. So when it comes to high-end pens, as far as I'm concerned, the Airbus A380 is definitely the best pen I've ever used. And as far as I'm concerned, it is definitely my favorite pen. Even though the Waterman Edson is an extremely good writer, it just doesn't have the same feel in your hand as the Airbus A380 does. The Airbus A380 is an extremely heavy pen. And in my opinion, this makes it more comfortable to write with, as I really enjoy writing with heavy pens. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and found it informative.